All right, good evening, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Let me say that before I begin, really. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment. I, I should have did this live. Maybe I would have got some feedback. But I had to take a minute to um, come on here and share my um, day with you and try to have a better understanding of what is really taking place here on this planet Earth, like in America, particularly because that's where I'm at. And I am fabulous. Like, so let me just give you a quick scenario, right? And let me say, let me begin this by saying, with all due respect, you know how they say that before they want to insult you. So, with all due respect, here goes the scenario. So, the, um, the gentleman comes up to me, he says, Excuse me, ma'am. There's a fellow over here that's on his cell phone and he's having a conversation with no mask on. And I go and I say, okay, and he said, I said he's having a conversation with no mask on. And I'm like, and... Is he talking to you? Is he having a conversation with you? No. Um, so he's, is he, are you in a confined space where it's just you and him on lockdown and you can't get away or can you walk away or can he walk away? Well, I'm not walking away. Uh, is he walking away? No, he's sitting down and he's having a conversation with no mask on. And I'm like... Wow, okay. So I'm saying this to say. Then he gets upset and he gets frustrated. He says, never mind, and he just walks away. So I, I wanted to bust out laughing, but at the same time, I'm really, I'm really contemplating this because it's different people's um, perceptions of what is really happening on this planet. So in my mind, I'm thinking... And I mean this with all respect. I'm not, I'm not, I know I'm talking about it and I'm talking, I'm sharing this because this is something that I'm really trying to have overstanding of. Because if I'm in a restaurant and I'm talking on my cell phone, that doesn't bother you. But if I'm sitting down and I'm having a conversation, I don't have food in front of me, that bothers you. Then I had another incident. It wasn't with me, but I saw it take place. And the lady um, was standing up. Uh, I get the fact that maybe he was probably in her space, so I respect that part. So, But she says to him, uh, excuse me, sir. I would, feel, I would feel much happier if you put your mask on. And so he, he flipped it on. He said, oh. So I get to control your feelings? Okay. And so he, he takes the mask and he puts it on. And, and he says to her with the mask, do you feel better? And she says, yes, I feel better. Thank you. And then he said, psych, now are you sad? And then he kept going back and forth with the mask like, wow, I get to control your feelings? That means you shouldn't be outside because a lot of people are going to control your feelings. And I'm, and I'm just standing back like watching this take place. And I'm like, wow, people are really, um, really are affected about what's happening. Recently as well, you know, I don't watch television and I don't listen to the radio. So I had to rent a car when I was up in New York recently and my phone was dead. So I couldn't, you know how you Bluetooth your music. So I had to listen to the radio. So as I'm listening to the radio, I'm like, Every commercial, and you you do this yourself. Maybe, I don't know if it was because it was WBLS, but I was listening to 107.5 WBLS. I haven't listened to that in, like, forever. So um, when I was listening to it, the commercials came on. And when I kid you not, every commercial, maybe one or two. But you, you try it. If you listening to the radio, was either about the 19, the booster, um, what else, COVID-19, the flu, but everything was, you know, implementing, like, you know, you got to get this shot. You got to get this. Oh, this was one that really got me. It said that now they have this new test that you can take home 
to take your 19 COVID test at home. And it, um, I don't know, I don't, I want to use the correct verbiage, but it said it can detect up to 15 different variants. And right now they only promoting two, the Delta and the Omarion, right? So that means you're going to have to take, it's another, um, 13 more variants out here that you got to get a booster shot for. And it, and this COVID test tells you if you positive or if you negative. And I'm like, wow, a lot of people are really being affected. And I'm not saying, I'm not taking away or adding to this. I, I, I respect a lot of people that are sick, really sick, and um, whose health is not right. And a lot of people are, are just fine, you know. I mean, I know I do travel. I haven't gotten sick, and I'm grateful. I take my herbs, and, you know, I do what I need to do, and, you know, I'm in the sun, but I, I travel. I love to travel. So I'm going to do everything that I need to do to continue living this life, right? But for those people that are living in fear, for those people who are, um, who are, like a lot of people are living in fear. A lot of people are confused. Like one of the commercials was saying, like it was about getting your child that's vaccinated, that's like five years or under. And something, the, the commercial went something like the, the parent was asking her doctor, I'm unsure if, if I should um, get my um, my baby um, vaccinated. And then the commercial said to reassure her that it was okay. The doctor, she said, well, ask your doctor, is her child um, vaccinated? And, uh, and the child, the, the doctor was like, yeah, so that made the, the parent go and do that to her, her child. Give it a take. If that's what you're doing, hats off to you. You feel safe doing that. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just being more mindful of people's perception and how people are behaving and treating one another regarding being vaccinated and not vaccinated and how a lot of people are feeling um, in fear, how a lot of people who just like in a whole nother world, like they're not even thinking about it or taking it serious. And I'm not saying that it is serious. And I'm not saying that you should. I mean, do you. But today I really got a whole new, not like a whole new, cause, uh, but like it really just hit me and I'm like, seeing it even more and more how um, people are behaving to what is going on on this planet. I wish I could go back in time, but I know we can't go back in time to the days of how it used to be. And more stuff is coming down the pipeline. So take your health serious. Be mindful of other people's um, situation. We don't know what people are going through and people don't know what you're going through. But, um, you know, I always say live your best life. Do you because tomorrow isn't promised. But um, it's really crazy out here, yo. Like, you know, I was um, somebody was telling me that the guy just killed his um, the girlfriend in the car at the gas station. Another guy in California. So I don't know all the details. You know, you're just repeating what you've read in the news and all like this. So to all those people that, you know, shot somebody or killed somebody that's recently lost a loved one, may their souls have a peaceful journey. But a lot of people are just flipping out. Be careful. You know, don't feed into the negativity. Um, and I'm speaking from my own experience. When that happened, I was like, wow. Like, it's really affecting people how other people are, are responding to this. And I just wanted to know your thoughts on what is happening today and how you handle stuff like that. And um, I, don't, I don't know, like, it's just, wow. It's really deep out here. Like, it's about to get even crazier. Like, I mm, wish I could share some more stuff. But, you know, do your, do your, do what makes you feel happy, you know? Do what makes you feel brave. Do what makes you feel safe. Like, I told some people, you you need to stay home, then stay home, you know? But to each his own, I'm be in these streets, getting it in. Y'all like my new hair? I love it. Shout out to my sisters out in Jersey. See, this in a bun like that, but I'm a rock it. I'm going to take it down. Shout out to my love. Shout out to loyalty. Ew, ew, what y'all doing for the New Year's? Even though the year already started, but I know a lot of people are celebrating New Year's Eve. I don't know where you're going to be. See? I know, right? I love it. They did that. Did they not bless me? I'm always getting blessed. I'm so grateful, and I'm always sharing the well. 
I love it. Talk about Nubian Queen. Ooh. Can't wait. Ooh. 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 You like it? I like it. I feel like a true... Mm, I don't know. I just feel sexy. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to fix it up, though. I'm going to fix it up. But, yeah. But, um, yeah. That's This was what, how my day was today. I hope yours was better than mine. This is the Positivity Queen telling you to be absolutely amazing. This is the Jew Hunter bringing you all the Jews and the gents. Telling you to be brave. Travel the world is yours. Get out here and experience it. Take care of yourself. Absolutely take care of yourself. Be mindful of one another. Be patient. And um, watch out for those crazies. Okay? I, I do love you and I do respect you. Thank you for leaving a comment. Tell me what you think. Seriously, please just leave a comment. I should have went live. Maybe I'll do it again. Tell me if you think I should go live. All right. All right. Take care and be careful. Whatever you do. Be really careful and be brave.